Hello everyone, this is Shadow's Mom. Wanted to cast this uh, game for you guys. Told you I would cast a Dota game, and here it is. Gonna start off by speeding up to times four speed. You know, let's go all the way up to times eight, just because we can. So as the game starts, you can see we've got me as uh, Viper. We got Skeleton King. We've got Bloodseeker and Invoker with Stealth Assassin. Versus Chaos Knight, um, Huskar, Slardar, and Earthshaker. I'm mid as Viper going up against Earthshaker, and... Ooh, sorry, the game was going a little too fast there. I just got First Blood versus Earthshaker. At the same time, Top got a kill with... Appears to be Slardar versus uh, Skeleton King. Uh... Skeleton King's going up against Slardar right now, dies 1v1, or 1v2 rather, apparently. And yeah, um, Invoker gets chased back to his tower. At the same time, we've got Bottom owning 2v1, which isn't really that much of a surprise. They're going up against Tuskar, so they're keeping him at bay. I'm still farming middle right now. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a pretty long game, about 30 some odd minutes. SPI got uh, kicked for being AFK for more than 5 minutes, and Huskar is now starting to push them back bottom. I'm getting chased in mid, you know, away from the tower, and Top's being pushed towards our tower. So Top's not doing so hot, mid's doing, you know, we're about neutral, and bot's being pushed towards their tower. As of right now, I am 1-0. Earthshaker is keeping me at bay, almost actually manages to kill me with the tower assistance. So, you know, things aren't going all that great for me, but I've got awesome regen, as you can clearly see. But still pushing Huskar back, and I believe they're going to get owned pretty soon. Um, I just want to clarify, I was playing this game myself. You know, this isn't a replay of some pro or anything like that. This was me playing. Top right now is getting, uh, I guess you can say they're, you know, going back and forth. Slark gets caught in a 3v1 scenario, isn't doing so hot, starts running. I just pass by him, but don't get him. So now it's four of us top, and no, and you know, can't really see much. I'll turn Fog of War off for right now. Got uh, Huskar still farming bottom, he's got bright double uh, gauntlets of strength. Boots and Ancient Tangle of Vestification. He just got his Helm of Iron Will. Guessing that's working towards Helm of the Dominator. Stealth Assassin's got Boots and an Orb of Venom. No idea why he's got the Orb of Venom, to be completely honest. At this time, we've got Earthshaker in top forest. We've got Invoker farming top. We've got Skeleton King farming top. And it's now a 3v2 at top with Skeleton King and Invoker versus Earthshaker, Chaos Knight, and who is that? Slark. I now managed to get Slark here in a three in a 1v1 at the uh, at the rune spawn that happens right about over here in this sternal area. And the only reason I got that kill was Invoker managed to sunstrike at the exact point where we were fighting. Which was no surprise we were stationary. If he had hit a moving target, I would have been impressed. Huskar is pushing. And I managed to catch Chaos Knight, but don't do a substantial amount of damage. Chaos Knight's got boots, a shield, which I believe is for a Vanguard later on. Healing Salve and Ancient Tango of Esification. Meanwhile, I've got the uh, Ring of Aquila. Move, uh, boot, you know, standard boots, Ring of Health which I later build into a uh, Vanguard, and the Tangos. Uh, at this time, we've got Stealth Assassin just kind of farming bottom. I think he starts building towards a Diffusal Blade, which I don't know why, when he's already got an Orb Effect. we got two of them heading top, Earthshaker and Slark, while Chaos Knight and, well, now Huskar is farming middle, coming top. There are four of them are coming top. And my team decides to push. And I actually managed to come around the other end versus Earthshaker. 
while Slark starts owning just about everybody else's face. Got Earthshaker popping his ult in 2v1, doesn't do much, gets the, uh, get a kill on, uh, Invoker there, I get a kill on, uh, Earthshaker and Slark, and let's see here, here comes Bloodseeker to pick up a kill on Chaos Knight, I believe. He manages to chase him down, kill him at the tur yeah, at the tower, and we've still got Huskar being, well, farming at bottom with now the Urn of Shadows, Boots, the Helm, and some Tangos. Stealth Assassin, so still just farming away. Me and Bloodseeker are pushing top, because I've got their mid-tower that was over here down. And we're just having a free, you know, free farm fest, pretty much. I say B, because I've got a feeling they're about to come and, you know, you know wreck us, so... I start going back, Bloodseeker goes back, we get away pretty much unscathed. I actually think Bloodseeker almost gets caught out here. Yeah, he can see them, and they don't manage to catch up. Stealth Assassin's still farming, and it looks like Invoker is going for the rune. At this point, I think Bloodseeker Die. No, I managed to get a kill over here on Huskar with the aid of the tower. Actually, no, I got kill stolen by Invoker who sunstriked a slow moving target. Still not that impressive, considering he was slow to about 40% uh, speed, I think it is. Earthshaker is down here. He's got his boots and a healing cell versus Invoker and Stealth Assassin. They can't really do much, you know, my teammates over here can't do much, and Earthshaker can't do much, so they're kind of at a stalemate right now. I go back to, you know, get some items, I finish off my Vanguard, I've now got Phase Boots, I've got my uh, Ring of Aquila, and the Tango. As we can see here, Chaos Knight still got his Phase Boots, he's working towards a Yasha, and I think a Vanguard at this point. Uh, Bloodseeker's got Helm of, Dom of the Dominator, which is pretty good. Wraithban, it's alright. You got Power Treads, Tango, and Travel. Not really, you know, anything out of the ordinary there. Ooh, and I missed that fight down here. Slark manages to pick up a... Oh, one... Oh, he manages to pick up one kill. And Earthshaker manages to pick up the other. Meanwhile, Slark is now starting to get buff. He's now 4-2, and two, and I'm 3-0. No. So I can take him on almost no problem right now until he gets fed. Now, right here, I've got Slark on me, Hus er, Huskar on me, and I managed to get one kill in a 3v1 situation, but they managed to kill me just based upon pure numbers. Slark right now, he's running, and he's starting to actually get pretty buff now. We got a 2v1 on Slark going, and he manages to die in a 3v1 scenario. He could have actually taken out Invoker if he didn't Ghost Swap, or Bloodseeker if he didn't, you know, get stunned by Leoric. And Huskar is going home with, you know, I guess you can say his tail between his legs doing nothing. Chaos Knight's farming up top, he's got, let's see, same items he had a few minutes beforehand. Same with Huskar, except now he's got his gloves. Leoric's building towards, I have no clue, I think an armlet. Bloodseeker, no clue, and it appears Invoker is going towards a uh, staff. Earthshaker pops his ult, and tower starting to wear down on Leoric. They managed to burn Leoric's ultimate, which saves his butt until Huskar ults him. He gets stunned, and now he's, you know, caught in a bad situation. Huskar picks up the kill, and it's now one and two. Slark joins the fight. Earthshaker's got pretty low health, as does Huskar, but he's got his inner vitality, and he's fine. He actually man manages to pick up a second kill there that should have rightfully been Slark's, but hey, Slark's pretty buff right now as is. He's 5'3". Can't really go wrong. At this point, I'm up here farming a top, just, you know, pushing creeps back. 
we've got, you know, the enemy running through our forest, and uh, Huskar manages to find himself in a 2v1 and dies instantly. He gets stunned with Fisher and ulted by Huskar. <laughs> not much he can do there. Got Huskar, or not Huskar, Slark, and Chaos Knight pushing bottom. This whole time we've had Stealth Saz in middle pushing, and he manages to die in 2v1 and dies to the tower. And at the same time, I'm pushing top, managed to get their tower, and back away safely. So, not many interesting things. As you can see, we I don't have vision of what's going on. I don't know if anybody's coming, if nobody, you know, if it's still going to be a 1v1 if I go up top. And I, you know, go down here, check the rune, see its regen, pick it up, just for, you know, giggles and whatnot. Decide to go around and start fighting Chaos Knight. Again, at this point I have no idea what's going on over here. As we can clearly see though, Huskar is right about over here. I don't think I see him. I don't think he sees me. I see his owl though, bring him his mask for his mask of death, which to be honest could have, you know, he could have done without. At this point it turns into a 2v1. Chaos Knight lives thanks to Huskar alone. I start running away and have Bloodseeker starting to come my way as well. He gets into a fight with Earthshaker and starts losing in a 2v1 scenario. Earthshaker pops his ult and manages to die to uh, Huskar here. I turn around, pick up the kill on Earthshaker and manage to pick up the kill as well on Huskar. And at this point, I didn't even realize Huskar had an armlet of something or other. It's an armlet of Mag Magnodon or something along that line. Don't correct, please correct me on the spelling and pronunciation if I'm wrong, but I didn't realize he had that uh, item which could have turned the whole fight around. At this point, I'm like, ooh, Chaos Knight. Two of them are dead, one of them's at bottom. So I started attacking him. And I think, yeah, I managed to pick up the kill on him finally with my ult while stunned. And at this point, I'm now 7-1, which is an awesome position to be in. Slark starts fighting at bottom. He's got the poor man's shield. He's got clone bleed, ring of Aquila, mask of death, and power treads. Versus invokers, measly magic wands, dust... Uh, staff of Wizardry, Boots, Tango, and Teleport. As you can see right here, I'm doing you know, a little trash talking, not much really to say. And yeah, it looks like Stealth Assassin here is building towards a defusal. No idea why he's got an Orb of Venom when they're... Oh, never mind, it's a buff placer, not an Orb effect. Didn't realize that. So, once he does get his Diffusal, he'll have Mana Burn and a Damage Over Time. As well as a, you know, permanent, well, almost permanent slow for a second that slowly, gra or slowly de uh, degrades over time. From, like, 80 per minus 80% movement speed to no minus movement speed for the enemy champion. And when he does that as well, he purges them of all buffs. We see Stealth Assassin here in their jungle see Slark and Huskar tagging creeps. Not much we can do, and yes, it is an armlet of Mordigit, uh, Morty Gagan. Again, correct me on the pronunciation if you want. I will still, you know, screw it up. I managed to get a kill over here and die at the same time in a 3v1 situ or 3v2 situation. Not much I could have done when stunned by Earthshaker and Chaos Knight. So, uh, at this point, Stealth Assassin's trying to run. He dies as well in a 3v1 situation, just because Chaos Knight's pretty OP with dragging people back. We now have a Bloodseeker who's... I don't even know where the hell he is. He's dead, I believe, and we've got Invoker pushing bottom. Not really being much useful. Our leoric has got an armlet of his own, and a soul ring, as well as boots, and a quelling blade. So they're pushing middle, 3v, none. You know, they're doing it uncontested. I believe they do get our middle tower from full to dead. 
with no one really trying to stop them. Yep, here they go, they're killing it. At this point though, we've got uh, Invoker still pushing bottom, their creeps are pushing us at top, and they managed to kill our tower and burn, uh, burn Skeleton King's ult at the same time. So their creeps are starting to push, and didn't you notice that uh, Slark ported bottom and killed uh, Invoker 1v1? Which, to be honest, isn't that big of a, you know, isn't that big of a deal. It's an Intel hero versus strength. Strength's gonna, strength's gonna win nine out of ten times. So you got Slark here with Mask of Death, a Yasha, a Ring of Aquila, his boots, a shield, and Belt of Giant Strength. I believe he winds up getting a uh, Sage and Yasha. Not sure though. Now, as you can see. Huskar now has Helm of the Dominator, he's got his armlet, he still has Urn of Shadows, his boots, a teleport, and his tango. I, on the other hand, have a Lothar's phase boots, a vanguard, and a ring. And I've got 800 gold, give or take. So I need to get some farming done, but I'm highest level on the map right now, aside from Huskar. So, I'm starting to push their top back. Um, yeah, we actually tried to vote kick our Bloodseeker because he was AFK for about two minutes, as you can see here, a little over. So, you know, we start to, you know, wanting to vote kick him. The other team doesn't want to. And, yeah, we just kind of are a stalemate right now. Everybody's starting to farm. Uh, really not much going on. It's a Dota game. We're not pros. Don't claim to be, so... Yeah, it's a lot of farming, and even in pro games you see a lot of farming. I teleport middle to try and maybe get a kill, think they'll, you know, push a little more. They don't. I manage to kill the creeps, however, and, you know, stockpile a little bit of gold. I'm now at 600 from buying a, uh, buying a quarter staff. Again, at this point we have no clue where they are. We cannot see them, but we have an idea that they're at Roshan. So, Stealth Assassin goes in, he sees Earthshaker, and sees two others are there. I come in from the back, and we kill Earthshaker without him even realizing that we were there. At this point, they've almost got Roshan dead. SA makes his awareness noticed, and manages to steal the uh, Aegis. At this point, it's a 3v3, and uh, they manage to take out Skeleton King, but burn his ult. Slark managed to get away, or I think he's still here, now he gets away. He gets away with about 700 health, and yeah, not much we can do. And I, at this point, didn't know uh, Chaos Knight had a Manta style, so I didn't know how many images were actually due to Illusion, how much were due to his ult. So we just decided it's better to not fight and run away. As you can see, I'm now at... Uh, almost 1500 gold and we're 23 minutes into the game so you know we're farming farming we get the tower I actually get the kill on it and I'm 9 and 2 I've got the best score on the entire well, in the entire game and at this point Slark tries to attack me has his basher but doesn't manage to get a good bash off on me to where he could actually kill me and there's that purge I was talking about that slowed Slark immensely for just like two three seconds SA's got now uh, let's see if I can target him here we go Diffusal, the Orb of Venom, Dust, Aegis and Boots nothing too out of the ordinary and a team fight starts going on here we've got ooh Huskar put his ult on Skeleton King they're actually starting to chase Skeleton King and Voka right now I come in from the back and put my ultimate on Slark, hoping to maybe do something. Huskar catches me from the back and, you know, chases me away. Well, not chases, but he forces me to start running away. Stealth Assassin gets himself into, into position to kill uh, Earthshaker, manages to do so 1v1. And in the meantime, I've got Huskar putting his ultimate on me. I almost wind up dying. I get to about 100 health here. I turn around, help get a kill, and now it's a 4v1 against Slark, who I don't think realizes it's a 4v1 until 
he gets stunned and all of us start chasing him. We managed to pick up the kill on him only based upon the fact that we just had a sentry ward put down here by... Who is it? It's Bloodseer puts the sentry ward down to see invisible units. Plus, I think he uh, he got dusted from one of, our, one of my teammates. So, right now we've got their mid pushing our mid, their top pushing our top back, and we're pushing their bottom. Huskar's complaining right now about... Uh, about Chaos Knight, who's working towards the Saint and Yasha now, makes it very clear he's working towards it, actually, and can't do anything to stop us from getting the tower down here. He tries, though. He gets ulted by Bloodseeker, blinked, stunned, and believe my teammates pick up the kill. Yes, uh, Yellow picks up the kill with his ultimate as Bloodseeker. At this point, it's now like a 1v4. We managed to pick up their... Uh, or 1v5 rather, we managed to pick up both the uh, both racks and the tower obviously. Their middle is still pushing our middle and we decide to go back. I've now got 4.2 almost 4.3k gold so I've got some spending green and two open inventory slots. In the meantime we've got uh, Huskar here who just put his ult on Bloodseeker, managed to kill Bloodseeker ES used his ult, got uh, a lot of the creeps out of the way, and a lot of Skeleton King's health. Invoker right now just used his four staff that he has to uh, push himself away from Slark. Now uh, Earthshaker and Slark pick up a kill on King Leoric. And there's not much for uh, Invoker to do. In the meantime, I picked up Huskar who tunnel visioned you know, on his way there. And actually, uh, Skeleton King has ult. I come back around, pick up double kill. Managed to kill both Huskar and Slark, or Huskar and uh, Earthshaker, and now I'm trying to get Slark here, who's fighting my uh, my teammate right here. Slark turns on to me. I didn't realize he had a, a, a gem of true sight, which nullifies my uh, Lothar's edge. Huskar or er, Slark now uh, manages to kill me with barely losing any health. So their top's pushing our top. Their middle is actually being pushed back now a little bit by our middle. And now we've got uh, Super Creeps at bottom that's forcing one of them to almost stay bottom full time. So we're farming, farming, I'm dead. Uh, Bloodseeker's got his helm. He's still got Wraith Bands, he's got Sange, he's working towards Yasha for Sange and Yasha to get a little more benefit from both. And he's got his boots. Slark's got Vladimir's Offering, Ring of Aquila, Yasha, Boots, Basher, and Gem. Heading towards middle now to go kill a Bloodseeker in a 2v1 scenario. Actually, I don't even think he needs to have uh, Chaos Knight there. But they go in a 2v1, and uh, Slark manages to pick up the kill versus uh, Chaos Knight. Well, against Chaos Knight, rather, to you know, see who gets the kill first. Meantime, we've got all four of them pushing middle while they just killed one of our teammates, who's one of the worst on the team at this point, let's be honest here. He's 4-5 Bloodseeker. Not that great of a score. And now our top is slowly pushing at their top, our bottom's pushing their bottom, and they're starting to push mid. Earthshaker's got Blink, Arcane Boots, Healing Salve, some Dust, and a... Uh, and a scroll of teleportal. He blinks into our base, stuns uh, Stealth Assassin, SA gets uh, ulted too by Huskar, and they use up his Aegis. Meantime we've got the cloud going down from Stealth Assassin before he died, and now they're focused on Skeleton King. They kill Skeleton King, I managed to pick up the kill on Earthshaker here, as they start heading towards uh, uh, Stealth Assassin. I managed to pick up the kill on... Uh... Oh no! Uh, Stealth Assassin picks up the kill on Slark, thanks to Invoker's Cold Snap, you know, having a couple of mini-stuns in there really helps. So now, uh, Huskar teleported back to their base, that way he can stop bottom, and Chaos Knight's just running home. So, we're pushing middle, we continue pushing middle, there's really not much going on right now, they're pushing our bottom back, or Huskar at least is. So we're pushing, 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 and we're about to 
what appears to be getting into a team fight. We don't know where the other team is except for... Yeah, we don't know where the other team is at all, actually. Now we do. We know where Chaos Knight is. He's up at top. So we decided it'd be a good idea to take their take the middle tower. We start fighting at the middle. Let's see, Huskar is baiting our creeps away. So the tower is forced to attack the champions. I just don't really care at this point and continue, you know, going back and forth with the creeps attacking the tower. Sorry. They keep on attacking, you know, our uh, creeps. I get the turret kill. I get ulted here by Huskar, and they dust me so that way they can see me while in Viz. Earthshaker pops his ult, and I die after he stuns me with his enchant totem. So now it's a 4v, what, 2? Or 4v1 scenario in the middle here. That's one of the images. Yeah, it's a 4v1, and they managed to kill Leoric at the same time. In the meantime, however, Bloodseeker is doing nothing useful, just following creeps at the bottom. Stealth Assassin, however, picks up the tower kill at the top. So it wasn't all loss. And now uh, Huskar burns his ult on uh, Bloodseeker, kills Bloodseeker, and he's now uh, 9 and 7 versus uh, Slark's 10 and 5. Slark's by far doing the best on their team. Uh, Huskar doing the second best, and it's literally almost 2v, I guess you can say 2v3, because uh, the only ones worth noting on my team are maybe uh, maybe purple and maybe blue. I have, you know, I'm 12 and 4 right now. I'm doing best of everyone. So right now we've got uh, Slark, who's got an eagle horn to his uh, inventory now with his Yasha. Which I believe he's starting to build towards a uh, butterfly. Can't be too sure though. Chaos Knight still got the Manta style, Vanguard, Saint Nyasha, his boots, a couple of town portals, and a healing salve. Huskar has got a scepter, which is really, really good for Huskar. It lowers the uh, cooldown of his ult, I believe. And he's got his armlet, his helm of Dominator, the urn, and boots. Nothing really out of the ordinary there. Earthshaker's got his dagger, he's got arcane boots, his uh, own scepter now, which is good for him as well. Makes his ult bounce two times between champions instead of one. And so we have a feeling they might do Roshan again. And as you can see here, uh, Stealth Assassin's asking me if I can... Uh, let, I believe he asks me if I can take out their uh, racks while they're healing. I... Uh, no, uh... Leoric actually asks me if I'm able to sell the rocks if they're regening. I say yes, and I believe we managed to pick up a kill here on Slark in a 3v1 scenario. Yeah, just about positive now, because we get the dust off on him. Yep, 3v1 kill. We're pretty happy about that. Here comes Huskar. He ults me. Doesn't do that much damage, surprisingly. I get ulted by Earthshaker, stunned by ult Earthshaker three different times. And now they decide to uh, try and fight Stealth Assassin in his cloud. I pick off Earthshaker, which was the best choice at that point. So now it's a 2v1 scenario. I don't know who, you know, which Chaos Knight's the real one. Can't really tell that much. But uh, apparently that's the real Chaos Knight. I start fighting him again, but he manages to get away with relatively no damage done to him. At this point, Purple is killing their creeps in the middle, pushing. He's got his armlet. He's got a Bash, or I think he's building towards a Sange. Either Sange or Blacking Bar, and his boots. He gets stunned by uh, by Chaos Knight. We managed to pick up the kill on Chaos Knight with that lovely stun from Leoric. And we managed to take out the Rex. And uh, let's see, Orange stops their top creep uh, push. So we managed to take out both the Rex here in the middle, as well as we have the two Rex down here at bottom. That, are, that have been gone now for about 10 minutes now. Only one up for them is Earthshaker, who stuns us, tries to, uh, you know, take us away from the racks and focus him, possibly. We take out the racks, and we, you know, we're not thwarted by anything. We all then decide to say GG, knowing full well we've got Mega Creeps, and they can't really stop the Mega Creeps, because 
Look at that damage, about 100 damage per swing on these Trians. It's pretty good. Now we managed to kill Slark here in a 3v1 scenario. I pick up the kill, or 4v1 rather, and that's game. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you